Hey guys, so as promised, I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how I did the balloon bunny rabbits. Um, I'm going to include a link in the description of every item that I am using. When you make these, you want to make them as close to Easter as you possibly can or close to delivery as you possibly can. You don't have to use a bunny head. You could use, uh, because my niece, my other niece wants me to do one with a Spider-Man head at, on top instead of the bunny. So you could do this at any time. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so the first item you will need is your Easter Bunny head. So I have my head laid out here. Here, you'll use a balloon for the body. This is 18 inch clear balloon. It doesn't look clear, but when you blow it up, it's clear. You'll need four five inch balloons. These are for the neck. You'll need four 12 inch balloons. These are for the foot. You're gonna need two 260 balloons. These are for the arms. And these are just some inserts for the inside of the balloon. And I'm gonna show you how I stuff the balloon. But anyway, I think I have, what is this? Three, six, seven, eight. I have eight balloons. You can put as many as you want in there. I think eight is a fair number and it may be too many, okay? All right, and what I have here are, um, these are balloon dots or just two-sided tape basically is what it is. So any two-sided tape will work. But I got these balloon dots. When I ordered my balloons, they were included. All right, you're gonna need a hand pump. That's so that you can pump up the five inch balloons. Uh, you can do all of this with the hand pump, but I mainly use the hand pump for my 260 and my five inch because I have a balloon machine. If you do not have a balloon machine, no worries. You can go ahead and blow it up with this hand pump. It is very, this is a great hand pump. I got this from, I wanna say I paid $5 for this at Party City. It is the best hand pump I've ever used. So uh, I'm sure Walmart sell them. It's the, um, they're all the same brand works really well. So anyway, let's get started with the head. To blow up your head balloon, you're just gonna, see that little tab there? You're gonna take your pump and stick it up under there, right? And then you will just start to pump it up, just like that, okay? But I'm not gonna use that. I'm going to use this. Now, I'm going to blow this balloon up. So you want to take your tab and put it under there so the air can get in. I don't want to blow this one up because I blew up another one off camera. <laughs> You see how that is going? And so you're gonna blow it all the way up until it gets stiff, okay? And so that's when you'll end up with this. It's nice and firm. The ears are sticking straight up. This is what you want, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm going to blow up now my 12 inch balloons. I have blown up so many balloons, I don't want to see another one. Okay, so we got those. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get the ones that are gonna be for the neck.
you want to come here, go down about three, four inches, bend, and just twist, just like that. This is going to be our hand, okay? Let's do that again. And I just measure it against the other one to make sure they're about the same length. And they are, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is three or four inches, right? Bend and just twist. See that? Okay, so right here. Pinch, this is what I do. Pinch it right there and just twist it. Just grab a handful of it and just twist it. Just like that. You might have to slow that down so you can get it, but. So these are our arms. Now, the only thing left is to blow this big 18 inch balloon up. And so what I do is I'm going to blow this balloon up a little bit, but I need to stick this inside of, so I always get something like a paper straw or something. You can see the dye coming off the balloon on my hand. Um, so I take like a paper straw and I put it in there, give it a little twist, and then you're going to put it inside there. Okay. So that's, that's what this is for. So I hope you guys can see that. All right, so let's go ahead and blow this up. And so what the deal is, is you go ahead, and it's okay if you lose a little air because you can blow it right back up. That in there, All right? So I'm gonna blow it up. Always give it three pumps, right? And if you pull taut, if you get it tight like that, no air will come out. And so what I do is just tie the balloon while I still have the handle of it. My bad, I should have told you guys to get scissors. But anyway, you want to cut that little part off at the end of your balloon, okay? And so it's down inside there. So now we have one inside. So we're going to keep doing it until we get as many balloons as we want. So I'm going to go with about six and see where that leads me. If I need more, I'm going to keep going. So. Oof. After you do about three or four, you'll be an old pro. Trust me. I have seen people doing this, but I had never done it myself until I did these rabbits. Don't worry if the air goes out. You can put it right back in.
this is the hardest part of making it. <laughs> if you get past this part, you're good. So I'm going to stick in my straw, give it a little twist to make it go in easier, okay? Then I'm going to get it inside there, and I'm going to hold on to the neck of it just a little bit and wiggle it out. See that? Now that part is sticking out, and I'm going to give my white balloon three pumps. And then... I'm going to pull it down towards the opening that stops the air from coming out of the other balloon, right? Okay, guys so right now I have two four six seven balloons in the body okay I'm gonna step back so you can see it all right so now I'm just gonna tie it up and we're gonna put all of our pieces together okay all right so we have our head mm -hmm. we have our arms okay We have our body. Okay, now remember the four 12 inch balloons and the four five inch balloons? We're gonna tie them all together into quads. So let's go ahead and get these put together. So we got those two together. I'm going to put these two together. Okay, so once you get it like this, you guys know the routine. You mix them together. Just twist them. They're not going to pop if you didn't blow them up too, too big, you know? So just be careful. I'm going to keep going until I can get them to stand just like that. Okay? So these are our feet. Okay. So we'll do the same for these two. And we're going to mix them together like before. Just try to get them in there twisted as good as you can because this is what's going to hold the neck up. Okay? There we go. So now let's construct our rabbit. So at this point, you're gonna to need to get your tape and another 260 balloon. So what I'm going to do with this one, right? I'm gonna roll, so I'm gonna roll it, roll it really good on this tab. You want to get it as close in as you can. Just keep rolling it. Roll, roll, roll. See that? I got it all the way in like that, okay? And I'm just going to tie a little knot. Don't pull too hard because these balloons are not that strong, okay? I'm just going to give it a good little knot there, okay? So now that's secure, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this balloon and tie it to the head, okay? And so I'm just going to take my little ribbon and take it around a couple times because I don't want my hair to come off for any reason, okay? And then I'm just going to tie it. But remember, don't pull on these too much because if you do, They'll just tear apart. So just put enough energy into it. Just like that. Okay? Now I know it looks 
wobbly right here, but this is where the magic happens. You get these little four balloons here, and you're just gonna pull it in through the neck. Just like that. See that? Now I'm gonna twist it. Donald hates this part. Just to get it on there really good. See that? And once you twisted that on there, now the neck stands very still. Got that part? Okay, now, what we have to do at this point is we're gonna put this balloon on top of these balloons. But in order for it to stand, you have to put your tape down. So you wanna sit it down just to see how you wanna get your tape down in there to get it to kind of stand straight up. See that? So I'm gonna put two pieces of dotted tape right here on each balloon because I know this is where I need it to be. And don't force it because you don't wanna bust the balloon. So if it's not coming one way, then you go the opposite direction. And we are going to sit it down just like that. And if you make a mistake, if you take your time, you can pull it back apart. Please make sure to get the bottom of that balloon in the center of those four. So when you go down, do one dot at a time. You may need help. It's going to stand. You just got to get it in the right position, okay? Might take a little work, but do one dot at a time and then go around and press the balloon down and you'll get it to where it will stand, okay? So next, we're going to do our last part, which is our arms, okay? So remember this long part we had? We're just going to take it and wrap it around. The very first balloon, just like that, okay? Simple as that. And we're gonna do the other balloon the exact same way. Just gonna take it, make sure you get it in there, and you're just going to twist it, just like that. And you can bend your arms to make them come in how you want. These balloons were made to be twisted and turned, the arms. So don't worry about that. Anyway, this is what you end up with.